Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back. We got a good one for you today. Uh, not the, 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 the biggest fight in the world, uh, but one that I'm into. Uh, I think this is going to have the making of an entertaining fight. It's a good fight, I think, to make money on. But uh, before we get into this, it's Danny Dingham and Denzel Bentley. Sorry, I should have... Uh... Why am I hiding the leader? Denzel Bentley, Danny Dingham. I, I think this is a, a top-notch fight. Um, I'm into this fight. All right. We good? We good. Uh, Danny Dingham, Denzel Bentley. Uh, really interesting fight, intriguing fight. A lot on the line for everybody. Before we get into this, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month gets you the lock of the week. Gets you all types of perks, tons of perks. Uh, ask the bookie anything. There's a free t-shirt involved. Ask me a handicap a fight. I'll handicap a fight. I'll make a video upon your request. Uh, let me know what you guys want, and uh, I will certainly make it a reality for you. Uh, boom, 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 boom. All right. Also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Let's get into today's show. Denzel Bentley, Danny Dingham. This is not the biggest names. I. This is the main event of the. BT Sports card, I believe. It's a good fight. It's an entertaining fight. Like, Denzel Bentley is coming off a deplorable loss to Nathan Haney. Heaney? Haney. Uh, it was a, a miserable performance and a guy that he should outclass. He just hasn't been able to take that step up. He got destroyed by Felix Cash. He's got a, a, a draw with Mark Heffron. He's supposed to be a world-class guy, and he just can't get there. Uh, 5'11", middleweight, conventional fighter, 29 years old. He has to win this fight, and he has to look good in the fight. It, it's tough. because I, I don't – I, I want to like Denzel Bentley. I, ju I just can't. He's too predictable. His combinations, there, there's no there's no cadence. There, 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 it's just repetition. He's straight in. He's straight out. He's off the front foot. He's pretty basic with it. Defensively, he's sloppy. He leaves himself wide open to be tagged. He kind of wants to be on the outside and push you back. He's not real good at getting on the inside. He's got pop. He's got some athletic ability. He's not been trained up well. Like, there's raw talent in there. There's a lot of raw talent in Denzel Bentley. It's just, like, it, a lot of times I look at British fighters and, like, they're not it, right? Like, they... They know how to fight. They've been trained well. They just don't have anything special. I think Denzel Bentley is the opposite. I think Denzel Bentley could be good, really good, like a world-level fighter. But he hasn't been trained up well. He's he's not a good fighter. He's not a good boxer. He's a good athlete. He's a puncher. There's things in him that you can like. It just hasn't got, gotten to the surface yet. He's just so in front of you to be hit. Right? Like, there's no movement. There's not any really good lateral movement. He's just in front of you, and he comes at you, and it's jab, right hand, and that's basically it. He fires nice shots from the outside. He does. His punches are straight, and they're nice. There's good snap on him. There's decent speed on him. But after that, like, what is there? They're like, he took boxing lesson one, but never took boxing lesson two. And he just got by on boxing lesson one because he's a pretty good athlete and he can punch. But like at this, at the highest level, and you get even, not even at the highest level, at the next level, he keeps coming up short. And it, he like, on paper, he's better than he is in, in reality. And I don't want that to be the case. So he has to win this fight. Danny Dingham is what he is. <clears throat> he's an entertaining fighter. He's an opponent. He's going to lose. Strong body, and I know he's 16-1-1. So his, his record's actually better than Bentley's, right? I, I, I suppose. Winning percentage-wise. He's got a loss to uh, Zanabek. Yeah. And he's got a draw 
back in 2021. I think he's slow. He's easy to hit. He's wild. He gets wild, but he's strong. He's got a really strong body. Like, he's one of those guys where he's got good power. I think Denzel's a better hitter, but he's got good power, but he's more strong. Where, like, he's going to beat the crap out of you as opposed to just ending it with one shot, right? Like, I'm not comparing him to Errol Spence, but Errol Spence is – one punch power isn't great, but what he is is really, really strong. He can hurt you, and he can dent you, and he can beat the, he can beat the crap out of you, right? And I'm not like, saying he's anything like Errol Spence. I'm saying like that's the kind of power that he has. Is, is he, he's more strong than he is just like one hitter quitter power. His head's on a line. He's easy to hit. He throws good shots on the inside. He can be outboxed and nailed and, and just targeted. I think that's what's going to happen. I, I think Denzel Bentley's going to be able to keep him at the outside and just kind of punish him and pour in shots. I do like Dingham on the inside. He's a good body puncher, but he's just slow and plotting. And I, I think this is kind of tailor-made for Bentley. Bentley needs to win, and he needs to look good. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen. I think this is a fight that's kind of tailor-made for Dingham. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. Uh, that's made for Bentley. Dingham doesn't really let his hands go. His boxing instincts and reflexes are bad. Like he, he, he doesn't react like a fighter. His instincts and, and, and his reactions and his reflexes are bad. He's easy to hit. He's slow. He's a puncher. He's, he's a strong. He, he likes to bully his way in. He, he's a puncher. He's a strong guy. I, I don't know how he's gotten this record. I think he's pretty easy to beat. I, I think Denzel Bentley takes him apart pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Let's get into the odds here. Let's take a look at the odds. And the only thing we have up right now is Bentley on the money line. And I love Bentley on the money line. Bentley on the money line is a great bet. I'm going to make it a one and a half times bet. I'm very confident that he wins this fight. So $150 bet makes you 20 bucks. Okay, it's not great. There's no props up for this yet. There will be props up for this in the next day or two. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. We're going to take Bentley to get the stoppage in this fight. I don't know what the odds are yet, so I don't know exactly how we're going to play this. Join the Patreon. Message me. Uh, we're going to take a look at this together. We're going to make money on this fight because Bentley is going to stop Dingham. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Make money on this. This lock of the week. We're going to make a ton of money together. I don't like what DraftKings is doing, releasing these props this late. But leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. I'm losing it here. I, I, okay. Uh, follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. Um, again, link is in the description. Join the Patreon. Files a month. Gets you like a week. It'll, it'll get you access to how to make money on this too because we're going to make more money on this. Uh, but that's what we're doing for this. Bentley on the money line, minus 750. Keep this. This is a great play to use for a parlay too because this is something that Denzel Bentley is going to win. Once they drop the props, we're going we're gonna to look at, De at Bentley on the under. We're going we're gonna to look at a bunch of things. This fight's not going the distance. Uh, we're going to look under whatever. Let's take a look at it together. Join the Patreon. It's just five dollars a month. We're going to make way more than that. It is May 9th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.